Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about uh, the Elemental City hero Valentina and you are going to see that I'm a bit disappointed about her efficiency today and there is someone you can use to replace her if you don't have her. So is she mandatory for some content? Is she going to help you? I don't think so. Of course you're gonna have a bit more damage in the Elemental City if you are running a full bleed team, but outside of that you are gonna see I'm gonna replace her. But first of all, let's talk about her because on the paper she looks pretty interesting. So she is an attacker from the Forgotten with the Force Mark. So normally she should help in the Forgotten, right? So basic attack deals 110% attack damage and the same bleed damage to the single enemy with 60% chance up to 100% chance to inflict one layer of bleed for two turns. This is this is a, a, a hero the third elemental city hero and she can place only one bleed on a basic attack. It could be better than that, right? First active skill there is there is 80% chance up to 100% to inflict two layers of bleed on a single target enemy for two turns. Afterwards, 120% attack damage and bleed damage to the target. And besides, deals extra 40% attack damage for every one layer of bleed owned by the target. This extra damage is considered as bleed damage. Uh, it's, it, it seems okay, but if you... Add to that the exclusive one, she becomes interesting because she's gonna provide to all heroes attack plus 40% for two turns. So this is interesting for that. The only bleeder that can apply an attack buff to your heroes, great. Perceive at the beginning of the enemy's turn there is a 60% uh, chance to inflict one layer of frost spell. Frost spell is gonna increase the bleed damage taken by the target by 2% when dec and decreasing the freeze resistance by 1.5%. Um, so against the boss you don't care about the effect resistance or freezes. Uh, it's interesting only on waves, maybe on PvP, but uh, trust me she is not a great hero for PvP so you don't want to use her in your teams. Um, inf so, beside there is a 40% chance to inflict one, ra one layer of frost spell on the enemy for 3 turns for every one layer of bleed inflicted. And in order to land frost spell, uh, you don't need effect hit and it's not affected by effect resistance. On the ultimate, deals the C stages of 30% attack damage and bleed damage to all enemies. The last stage has a 40% chance to freeze enemies for one turn. Yep. It's only a 40%. It is less chances than the ultimate of Nicholas. This is an elemental CD hero and normally it should be 100%. Or at least 80% chance. This is way too low in my opinion and the exclusives are not gonna increase that. So... Uh, it's a bit weak when you read the skills for the first time, right? Let's talk about the exclusive quickly. So the first one is gonna grant all your heroes 40% more attack when you use the basic, the first active skill. Then the the exclusive level two increases the chance of inflicting frost spell to 60% for every one layer of bleed inflicted. If the target's speed is higher than Valentina, it's gonna increase the chance to 80% instead. And each layer of uh, bleed on the target, uh, each layer of frost spell is gonna increase the bleed damage taken by 3% instead of 2% only. 1%, trust me, this is not gonna do any difference at all. Exclusive level 3, I just unlocked it. Increases damage deal to the target by 8% for every one layer of frost spell owned by the target. I'm gonna show you the difference in damage. Uh, not directly, but I'm gonna show you with the, the exclusive 3 and tell you what damage I was having before. And the exclusive 4 and 5 are to increase her own damage, not the damage of your team, okay? So she is a, a bleeder support, but uh, she is here only to provide the attack buff and some extra bleed damage to your team. But you are gonna have more damage increased thanks to Grace or Chardonnay than with her. So... 50 more speed. At the beginning of the turn of any enemy with frost spell, Valentina deals 35% attack damage to them. Every one layer of frost spell is going to increase the damage by 5%. 5% uh, more attack damage, I mean. 
increases the total damage by 50% when there are 15 layers of frost spell on the target and the damage is considered as bleed, bleed damage. I haven't tried that yet, so maybe it's gonna be interesting. Uh, this is a thing like uh, what Ogradis does on the exclusive 3, um, inflicting passive damage to the target, but this is only 35% of her attack in damage, so I doubt that it is gonna be a great source of damage. Uh, level 5, when there is an enemy that has 25 layers of frost spell for the first time, she's gonna restore 50% of her max HP and get an extra turn. And after that, her basic attack will transform into the first active skill when it is cast proactively. That means uh, it's not gonna work with pursuits or counter attacks. <laughs> Uh, so, this is going to be interesting because on the basic attack, you are going to cast that skill to increase the attack of your heroes permanently. And also, you are going to deal more damage, inflict more bleeds. And after that, of course, probably she is going to do way more damage. So, in terms of stats, this is what I currently have on her. 41k attack, 174% mastery, 96% effect hit, and a bit more, a bit, a, a nice amount of speed. I'm running her with two mastery sets. I have no echo at the moment. Uh, okay, this is not that uh, bad because uh, echoes... At the end of the day, if you don't have any stars or level on, on them, it's not going to increase a lot your damage, right? So if you want to know, we are going to try that. We are going to try to put one echo, uh, maybe where it is, where is it? Th that one. You, you know what? Let's try with that one. So I'm going to have more mastery during the run, okay? And in terms of aura, I have that one. I'm going to increase it just a bit more, okay? Uh, so I'm going to have a bit more damage on her. Uh, and that's sufficient. Let's try her in the Wuthering Costs. So this is the team, okay? I have Nidrold. He is the main bleeder. He's gonna apply the bleeds on the target and deal some bleed damage. Then you have Chardonnay. Increasing my speed by 40%, shield on my heroes, uh, bleed damage uh, increased by 50% on the target, uh, thanks to bleed, d Deep Bleed 2. Then I have Lysander, uh, dealing some bleed damage without inflicting, uh, in putting any bleed on the target, uh, dealing the highest amount of damage in my team. Then Grace, to protect my heroes, to heal them and to increase uh, their bleed damage. And finally Valentina, to deal some extra damage and increase the bleed damage of my heroes by just a bit. So, uh, let's start the run and let's see what happens during the run and then we are going to do some uh, skip battles. So, Grace, as you can see, she can ap apply some leaves on my heroes. Uh, then I have, I'm going to have the attack buff on my heroes when she's going to cast the first active skill. So now I have the attack buff. And uh, over time, I'm going to have more damage. You have the frost spell on the boss here. He already had a, have a lot, 18 frost spell, already 20, soon 25. Okay, so that's perfect, and he is losing the frost spells, as you can see. It's It has a two-turn duration. So for that, it's not optimal. It would be great if you could stay at 25 to increase your damage constantly during the fight. Her damage are not bad though. So I have attack down 40%. This is thanks to exclusive 3 on Chardonnay. Deep bleed 2 thanks to the exclusive 1 of Chardonnay. I have crit, damage, crit rate down 50% thanks to Grace. Many bleeds thanks to both Nidrold and Chardonnay. And my Lysander is doing Pursuit. And a lot of damage thanks to the Pursuit. 330 million damage in 10 turns, this is not bad. This is not bad, this is the best you can have with a bleed team. Of course, she is great in that team. She's gonna enhance your potential and you are gonna deal more damage than win with any other hero. But you are gonna see that I can, be, I can have a close uh, score using another hero instead of her. And this is the reason why I'm doing the video, because I'm gonna regress her soon and pick again Donald Rebelli for PvP, because now I can have him again exclusive 3 and it is gonna help me a lot in PvP. 
So, 15 turns, 570 million damage. I have the maximum amount of leaves on my heroes, so they are doing a lot of bleed damage now, thanks to Grace. And I am still alive, so I can tank with that team pretty well. And I'm close to the end. I can still do a bit more damage. Yeah, this is bad, this frost spells. If it could remain m maxed, it would be nice. Close to the end. Tw 20 turns, I survived until the end. 766 million damage and she dealt only 88 million damage. This is not that big, right? This is not that big. We are gonna do multiple tries in skip battles just to see if I can do more. Normally, yeah, I can reach the 100 million damage and 848 million in total. 300 million here, 112 million. Grace is doing more damage than her with the same amount of exclusive. The, she is a classic legendary hero. Uh, she is an elemental CD hero. Same comment for Lissander, way more damage, but this is a classic legendary hero. I have the same damage on my Chardonnay. This is, this is bad in my opinion, this is bad. She should deal way more than that. 117, okay. 860 million damage. Now let's replace her by another hero. Uh, I'm gonna put instead Seth. He's gonna provide the attack buff to my heroes and they are also gonna have a Ripple 2 increasing their basic attack damage. And he's gonna provide more heals, more shields. So let's check using Seth. <clears throat> and this is the result. 742 million damage. This is close to the result with, with Valentina exclusive two, 3, but this is a, a classic legendary hero, right? I have the same amount of damage on all my other heroes, uh, but he deals no damage at all, so this is why I have less score at the total. Uh, I feel a bit disappointed about the potential of her. I hope that developers are gonna see the video, watch the video, because <laughs> this is a joke. To see that I can, I can have almost the same amount of damage using a classic limited hero instead of the uh, hardest elemental CD hero to get today. Okay, I don't have her exclusive 5 and it, of course it's gonna increase her potential. But maybe I'm gonna get what? 100 million more damage? So I'm gonna reach 900 million? This is not like Ogradis. Ogradis, if I remove her from my team, I, I can do nothing. We are gonna see. Okay, you are gonna say that she is exclusive 5 and so, yeah. But the exclusive 4 and 5 doesn't change a lot a lot on her. So this is the damage I can do if I'm using her in a burn team. 1 billion 900 million. Let's replace her by another hero. Let's try to put Seth. Maybe uh, if I put Seth, this is gonna be so freaking bad. Look at that. Look at the damage I'm losing. One entire billion. Because Ogradis is one of the one of the best or maybe the best damage dealer in the support in the game. For a burn team, in in fact. I can try to put every hero I want. I can put Nicholas if I want, uh, if you are curious to see. Nicholas normally increases my speed and also I have Combat Vanguard 5 stars on him and I didn't have Combat Vanguard in my previous team and he's gonna uh, increase my damage normally, so let's check. This is not the same. 400 million damage difference. I can I can try to replace her by any hero, it will never do the same. I can put another burner hero, let's try with Anna for example. And this is the result I have, less damage, even less damage. I can replace Anna by Moloch, but Moloch is without any, doesn't have any exclusive yet, so this is normal, I'm go not gonna have a lot of damage. Yeah, this is even worse. So, 
Then she can be interesting for the faction abyss, but she's not gonna protect our team, so uh, I'm not sure. I, I can't pass that stage using these heroes. So I don't know. She is clearly underwhelming and she needs a, s a tiny rework. Just a bit more, because it's one of the hardest heroes to obtain in the game. So this is the reason why I'm gonna regress her, because she's not gonna be great in Dwarven Ruins neither, and in other content in the game, you're always gonna have better solutions than using her, and she is useless in PvP. So that was all for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day, and see you soon, bye-bye.